parables of the kingdom. Jesus' parables chiefly relate to the kingdom. Some of them show how the Jews failed to become heirs of the kingdom and how the Gentiles came in for a share. Others show the kingdom class suffering violence during this age as a part of their preparation for the kingdom glory. The kingdom of heaven class suffereth violence. The violent have dominated it by force for centuries. The parable of the king's son shows that the Jews had the first opportunity for joint heirship with Messiah in his kingdom. Then the Gentiles received the invitation. And these, not many wise or learned, have for 18 centuries been prepared for Messiah's kingdom. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? In the parable, the wedding garment represents a faith relationship with God through Christ's merit. The one who discarded it was cast out of the bridal company. This prefigures the fate of all who reject the efficacy of the sacrifice of Christ in atonement for their sins. They will be forced out of the light of present truth into the outer darkness of the world. By and by they will realize their loss of the kingdom with chagrin, weeping and gnashing of teeth. The pearl of great price illustrates the kingdom's priceless value. It is worth its cost, our all. The wheat field parable of the kingdom represents the church during this age. The wheat, almost choked out by tears of error, yet finally ripened and gathered into the heavenly garner, will be the son of righteousness to usher in the new day of Messiah's kingdom. The parable of the talents represents how each consecrated disciple of Jesus is a steward of his own talents, and that according to his faithfulness will be his share in the kingdom. Faithfulness in using the few talents of the present will bring great opportunities for blessing the world in the next age. I will make thee ruler over many things.